Rollandtoe.com's Facebook Pack Cracker. Today, we have Mark. Hang on, I'm not just Mark. I'm Winky Face Mark today. And I am Face Palm Larry. That's right. And we're here today to bring you some Yu-Gi-Oh! tins. So we're hoping today we have Redox Dragon Ruler of Bowlers tin, and we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds tin. Now, Mark. 5Ds. Now, Mark, now I heard, you know, back from my buddies that played this game, that the Dragon Rulers of this game back in the day were OP. That they had to ban, uh, ban a lot of them. If not all of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that was really, you know, like a format that I heard was very mediocre to a lot of people. But, I mean, it's a fun game if, you know, even if uh, you have bad times with it. Like all lot of card games have those days. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of casual play with most card games because yeah. you kind of just, it's a free for all. If you right, got it, you can like, use it. You don't have to get too competitive with it to, like, you know, hate a card game or to like a card game. So we'll go ahead and bust this one open first. And while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and tell them about uh, we're going to be at Dragon Con September the 1st. That's only in a few days. Oh, yeah. Uh, and GPDC, it's Grand Prix DC, is going to be in a few days as well. They're both the, the weekend of the 1st. And Dragon Con is from the 1st to the 4th. GPDC is from the 1st to the 3rd. And then Hascom is actually the 8th to the 10th. Oh, yeah. So September is a very busy month for us when it comes to going to these conventions. Yeah, we, we definitely, like, unfortunately for us, we have to stay here and work. But, mm -hmm. you know, the rest of our, you know, good friends, and uh, they'll get to come out and, you know, sell you cards, buy your cards. You know, if you just want to sell us board games, you want to sell us hero clicks, any of those products that, you know, you just got lying around your house catching dust, man, we'll take it off your hands and give you some cash out the door. Oh, yeah. So, we'll go with the Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders. Now, it's a dragon, so I can see that being, you know, the thing that makes them overpowered and I just heard they had a lot of really crazy synergies that you know made them take the game over way too early and could possibly one first turn kill people depending on what uh, strategy you went with so I could be wrong about that this is just you know again what I've heard but again it's possible like I mean it looks I really good that's a, that's a really good looking card though man right oh. like I mean like I said, it's a dragon. It's made of stone. Like that's pretty. That's pretty slick. It must be something from Skyrim. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely yeah. like you know, Elder Dragon esque looking. What's next? Uh, we have Diamond it, Dire it, Wolf. Does this come with pro Are these promos? Yeah, this is the, all the promos that you get in the tin. The Diamond Dire Wolf. The Diamond Dire it's Wolf. It's like old Diamond dude. Oh man, Game of Thrones Dire Wolves. Oh yeah. Legendary wolves of the Stark House. You know, there's a breed of dog that you can get. Is the closest like this particular. I can't remember what breed it is, but it's the closest thing you can actually get to a Dire Wolf. I, I've seen the one you're talking about, and it looks like you can ride gloriously into battle. Oh yeah. So, I would actually if I had I'll, one. I would definitely. Oh yeah, ride man. Like any, if I any had, battle. I mean, I, I try to get my fat butt up on one. We have a Rank Up Magician's Baryon's Force. Now this spell card, you know, it's really good in spellcaster type strategies and XYZ strategies. And uh, it's the one of those types of spells that like, you know, it's a one or two of, you probably wouldn't want more than that. But it's still a really sweet card and it's really, really pretty art. Like, I, I mean, it's just definitely looks like a piece of some material that you would find in a temple or something. What do we got there, Mark? Oh, this is number 88, Gimmick Puppet of Leo. Wow, that was so hard for me to say that. Gimmick Puppet of Leo. What do you think his gimmick is, Mark? Looking awesome. That's what I think it is too. Funny, I share a similar, uh, I share a similar gimmick then, looking awesome all the time. Oh yeah, you do. Even though the people don't get to see your face that awesome, but. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's one of those things. That's all right. If yeah. they check out our Off the Cuff series on YouTube, bada bing, bada boom, then you'll be yeah. able to see me all the time. You can also see me on the next one. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the next one is a video game one. It's gonna be. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a nice debate about oh, that. Oh, it's gonna be a horrible, mess of a arguments yeah <laughs> spellbook of the master is the last card in the promos i love promo cards man oh yeah i do too like they're definitely you know give you the good value that you want out of a 10 or a you know a fat pack if you're in magic or a bundles is what they call them now sorry for my yeah bundles bundles had to be a little pc there but that's all yeah. right but uh yeah like you know any of those cards like you get you know that just make it worth warrior while it's really sweet so we're going to go with, uh, we have two packs of Cosmo Blazer, we have two packs of Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, and one pack of Number num, number Hunters. Oh, so it comes with five, are they just random booster packs? Or yeah, I don't know. Says? At the 10 says, two Cosmo, it, just say, it says what actual packs. Okay, so yeah. So, so they're, they're not random. Alright, yeah. So that's cool. At least you know what you're getting when you buy it. You know what packs you're getting. So we'll go with the Number Hunters first. See if we can find any sweet number cards in there. 
Hopefully we can find a big eye. If I remember right, that was one of the better ones back in the day, was big eye. I love busting these old packs. Oh, like, I do how too. How old is this set, do you think? How old is this set? This do you is know? like... Of course you don't know. I think I'm this is kidding, like five, six years old, maybe? Five, six years old? Maybe a little bit less. I'm sure somebody in the comments will let us know. Oh, if yeah, that could definitely let us know. Yeah, like, absolutely. please. Uh, we have Photon Alexandra Queen is our secret. Ooh. And that's a beautiful color. Oh, yeah. Too. It's a great Looks foil like a, on that. Yeah, I don't have to do anything to it. Go beautiful ahead. Beautiful butterfly. Effect. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that butterfly effect. And 2400 for a, you know, a rank four is not bad. Like, that's decent stats. So, it probably seen a lot of decent play. What oh. else we got? Oh, uh, we have a CXYZ Mequips Gen and, in general, I'm sorry, I'm butchering that, but that's really difficult. Oh, that's difficult. fine. Oh, no, no. The first one caught me so off guard. It's, wow, you're right. It's another rank four. It's another rank four. it's 2600. Four. It's CXYZ Mequipped Gen and General. And General. Wow. Man, that takes a lot to, like, just even process into a sentence, let alone, like, a card. So that's really cool. And we'll go on to our next pack here, which is a pack of a uh, Cosmo Blazer. See if we can find something sweet out of Cosmo Blazer. Like, I like, uh, you know, the thing I like about the XYZ summons is uh, they were a lot easier to do than fusion summons, and they're a lot easier to do than synchro summons. You just have to have two levels of the same card most of the time, and sometimes it's more cost, but usually just two. And they're really, really powerful. So we'll skip through all these commons, and we'll see what, oh, we got a super rare. We got a Brotherhood of the Firefish Snake. Now, I never played during this era, but I've heard Firefish Tinky is really, really good, really, really strong. So we got that card, and we got our rare Slacker Magician. She just doesn't want to do her homework, man. Just look at her. Look, she, yeah. She looks. She looks like I did in super high school. Super bored. Yeah, I was about to say super bored. Didn't want to go to class. Just like man, like math sucks. So we'll go on to the next pack of Cosmo Blazer. See if we can find something sweet out of that. Hopefully we get us a secret out of these packs. Oh man, actually we got even better. We got an ultimate. We got Whoa. a number 53. Oh wow. That's... Ultimate rares are always sweet. Most of them have a That's people. killer. Yeah, most of them from these actually kept really strong value. Like, I don't know if this one in particular did, but a lot of them have kept really like a good amount of value. So that's one of the good reasons you can get with these tens. You can possibly you can get a you know an ultimate that has really good value to it. That's awesome. That's a great. Card. Oh yeah, that's a great one. And we're going a rare, which is a Blackwing card. Blackwing Dam Damascus, the Polar Knights. So Blackwings, I remember from uh, the uh, 5Ds era, they were really really strong. Like that was one of the better decks that you could play back then. And uh, they just had really good creatures, really fast damage. They could just, you know, go in and out like really fast and like, you know, get a lot of quick, you know, power, powerful creatures in really, really fast. You usually win about two and two or three. So we'll go on to our next pack, which was uh, Lord of the Galaxy. And looks like we just got a rare in this pack, sadly. Aw. We have a Mecha Phantom Beast. Oh, you can't expect Tentable. to get an ultimate out of every pack. No, yeah. man, with my luck, I'm lucky if I get a rare in every pack, let alone that. Mecha Phantom Beast Tetherwolf. Mecha Phantom Beast Tetherwolf. Now, which is a helicopter, which is like my son would love. Sick. It's pretty sick. I like it. My son would love because he loves helicopters. So we're going to the last pack of the 10 here. We have the final pack of Lord of the Tacton Galaxy. Hopefully we can end this off strong, Mark. Hey, we already got that ultimate. I'm pretty oh, happy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm happy with the full rate so far. So let's see if we can get anything sweet. Well, we got a big whale. A big whale? A big whale. That's his name, and he's proud of it. He will flaunt it and let you know about it. He's got, man, he's just got the hammerhead. Look at him, like. Oh, he's cool looking. Yeah, I, I really like that. I didn't know whales had such sharp teeth, but, you know, <laughs> like anime logic. Yeah. That's yeah. all right. I'm down. But, hey. If you guys enjoyed this content, we definitely appreciate it. If you like, share, tell us how we did. And don't forget. Oh, yeah, don't forget. We have Dragon Con and GPDC coming up the 1st of September. Yeah, and we're about to get this other little, uh, what's this other tin we've got to bust, too? Oh, uh, we got this uh, sweet tin coming up. We got Duels Pack Collection. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> I about got distracted. It's easy to do, man. We have a lot of fun on these. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of fun, a lot of banter. But, a lot of you banter. know. I can't wait till we do some off the coast. We get to talk about. I can't wait till we do the video game one. I'm just so excited. I unfortunately have a slight case of ADHD. That's all right. 
Oh man, now Five Ds was really cool because this is card games on motorcycles, which sounds like a really dangerous venture. Oh yeah, coming from my perspective, but I mean apparently it works in anime. So I mean, and most things tend to work in yeah, anime. Yeah, like somehow we can come up with technology that you know can run you know a digital card game on a motorcycle and you not crash, but you know we still can't program VCRs in this day and age. <laughs> uh, Frozen Fritz Gerald is our secret rare, and these apparently come with all the dark uh, synchros that you like had in the anime, which is really cool. So you have uh, you have that one, and we have the three supers. We have Hundred Eyes Dragon, Zamanda Eight King, and Underground Arachnid. Now these guys are really cool looking too. Like if Let's you see guys if I can do this without. I think you, I have faith in you. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you guys like, uh, watch the anime, oh, you remember that these guys. That was perfect. They didn't have like, to adjust the camera. They were really strong in anime form. Uh, as far as like card game form, I don't remember them being so good, but you know, like they're still sweet looking and a good like a nostalgic piece to have in your collection. So we have uh, four packs here. We have a uh, Duelist Revolution and three Duelist Pack Yuseis. So Yusei was uh, one of my favorite protagonists just because he had a good attitude and he actually, he was one of the protagonists that actually seemed like he could save the world. Like, oh he, yeah? You know, he, like he could actually save the world with a card game. So we'll go through his pack here, see if we can find if he has classics. We have Synchro Gift. Synchro Gift is pretty sweet. It helps, uh, you know, like if you're playing a lot of Synchro Monsters and stuff, it helps with that. And uh, make sure that, you know, like if you're ever behind, you can get your Synchros back and get them up to run and like, you know, Hopefully get a uh, Star Dust Dragon out if you're a Yusei fan. Yeah. So that's sweet. Well, you know my favorite's always going to be Blue Eyes. Oh, yeah. I can't help Man, it. Man, the Star Dust Dragon can compete with the Blue Eyes a little bit, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, as far as like being powerful dragons, like Blue Eyes is good what they call Vanilla Dragon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, those effect monsters, they, they definitely like will make you have a run for your money. And we moved on to the next pack here. Let's see if we can find anything good. Well, we have another Synchro Gift, so we'll show you something else. We'll show you uh, one of Juicey's uh, classic creatures, his uh, Drill Synchron. Oh, yeah. Drill Synchron was one that uh, he used to get his Drill Warrior out a lot of the times. And uh, we just, we always enjoyed, always enjoyed watching it. That looks like it. a character from Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, or a Mega Man. He looks <laughs> like Mega Drill Man, Man from yeah, Mega yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, that's really cool. Or maybe one of the viruses, like one of those yeah, little virus guys. So it could be that. We'll go on to the final Yusei pack here. And we have uh, the rare in this pack is uh, Battle Waltz. Battle Waltz. Battle Waltz just sounds really cool. It looks like a, was a dangerous Hindu? deadly dance. Looks like a kind of a Hindu goddess kind of a thing. Kind of, yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I like it. So that's really cool. And we've had one final pack, guys. We got the Duelist Revolution pack. Let's see if we can get that another ultimate rare, maybe at least an ultra. That'd be cool. I'd at least I'd like to have an ultra out of that one. How the rarities go in Yu-Gi-Oh? I forget it goes. Oh, uh, they have rare, super, ultra, uh, secret, ultimate, ghost. Like they have a bunch of different rares. Oh yeah. They got rares for days. Oh yeah. Oh, we got us a secret mark. So even in this strong, we have Miracle's Wake. Miracle's oh, Wake is really sweet. I love my trap cards, man. I love. That's my one of my favorite uh, cards to type to play in the game. It's just like. I was a magic cylinder mirror force guy back in my day. Oh, really? Yeah, playing yeah. three magic cylinders, man, making your opponents just hate their lives whenever they attacked and didn't have nothing to respond with. So that was a really sweet card to see. And one more time, guys, we'd like to thank you for joining me and Mark yeah, today. Thank you all so much. You know, you guys are awesome. We appreciate you watching. And don't forget to join us again at Dragon Con or GPDC, whichever in your area you know you guys go to. Yeah. The 1st of September. And has comes though. Like oh yeah. Eighth man, that's gonna. That's a busy month. Jeremy's gonna be all over. Yeah, the place. he's gonna be all over the place. And don't forget, we also have these pack crackers every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll be really, really happy if you tune in, and see me, in my pretty mug, and you'll hear Mark's glorious voice. Oh yeah. So once again, we'll thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.